I'm Sir TapTap and welcome to Let's Play Song of the Deep. This is by Insomniac Games, you might know from the, them from the Ratchet and Clank series. A uh, review copy of this game was provided by the developer. This is a Metroidvania underwater, like in a sub thing. It's kind of like a 3D, um, what was that game's name? Late, uh, Aquatic Adventure of the Last Human. Let's just play on normal here. There's a lot of differences in aesthetics and themes. This is more of an uplifting Mary story. Loved the sea. She loved the sound of the waves calling to her through her window. She dreamt every night of the mysteries that lay beneath. Her father was a fisherman. Each day he went out to sea, and each night Merrin waited at the rocky cliff edge, holding up a candle to guide him safely home. The two of them were poor. Their roof was leaky, and they sometimes went hungry. But as long as they had each other, Merrin knew they would be okay. At night, her father sang her songs about his great adventures. He sang of giant leviathan serpents, haunted caves, and a lost city of gold beneath the sea. Merrin knew the stories weren't real, but she loved to listen to them. She drifted off to sleep. Imagining the wonders of the world below. And her life continued that way, simply and happily. Until one night, her father didn't return. Marin held up her candle at the cliff's edge all through the night, staring out at the empty sea. She shivered in the cold wind as she watched for him all the next day. Her eyes welled with tears as night fell again and there was still no sign of her father. At last, she collapsed into sleep. In her dream, she saw him, trapped deep beneath the sea, calling to her for help. She awoke with a jolt. A desperate and dangerous plan was already forming in her head. She took scraps of metal and wood her father had caught in his nets and pieced them together. She hammered and bolted, she measured and sawed. And before the sun had set, she had built a tiny, rickety submarine. Now that's impressive. With trembling hands, she squeezed inside and dove down beneath the waves to search for her father. So, yeah, this is more of an uplifting story than, uh... Adventure of the Last Human, obviously. Um, I believe this is a Unity game. It um, it started on the wrong... I'm playing the PC version, by the way. It displayed on the wrong monitor, which is a quirk every single Unity game released for the last several months has had. Uh, I, I really like Unity as a concept, but they have some bugs that they're just really bad at fixing. Um, but otherwise, it, it, generally speaking, it's a pretty great software. I've been meaning to learn it myself. But uh, I thought I'd just dive in here blind, since this is a metroidvania sort of game. Um, so the exploration is a big part of the fun, so I thought I'd, you know, go in first look. Uh, poke around, see what we got. Uh, I did notice the options menu, a little limited. Um, pretty basic graphics options. I can't play it at 1080p on my... I have a Radon 6950. Uh, it's getting pretty old. So uh, I'm not too surprised I can't run at 1080p, but there's... Really not much you can do other than drop the resolution. Um, this does have, it actually like only has uh, full screen windowed mode, which uh, I personally prefer, but uh, I'm really scared to press that button to see if there's like a full, a real dedicated full screen. Uh, I don't think there is. It doesn't seem to be that, but uh, yeah, pretty basic options we can, can we? Huh, I guess we can't modify controls either. So pretty basic controls, I guess. Largely what you'd expect in the console version. This is on PC, um, Xbox One, and PS4. I only have the. the world beneath the waves shimmered with mystery. Spoopy. Glow kelp bulbs lit up around her as she passed by. See, so the depth of field effect is pretty nice. It 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 looks like the sort of game that would kind of not run super great on my PC. So I'm not really surprised that uh, I couldn't get 60 frames per second at 1080p really. I'm getting a new graphic card, graphics card uh, pretty soon. I just need reviews of the aftermarket coolers. Old coins. Mustache coins. Her would know where they were from. Delicious. So yeah, I'll be getting a new graphics card pretty soon. I, I'm just a little iffy on whether I want a 1060 or a 480. Um, 
I'm gonna need reviews of both with their aftermarket coolers, because reference coolers suck. You don't want a reference cooler. Yeah, I'm long overdue for an upgrade. It'll be faster in coding times, too, so I can spend more time making videos and less time waiting. So, like I said, Metroidvania, so there's obviously some sort of hook or something we need to open that door. These are glowing, too. Uh, there is a map, I believe. Yes. The map looks pretty nice. Like, really detailed here. My location is where I'm supposed to go. I'm not sure An eerie light flickered and danced on the sea floor, like an underwater fire. A little underwater fire. Her father once told her about a mysterious living energy called time. Could that have been a time wellspring? Obviously, that's our save points. Oh, I'm supposed to wait, aren't I? Well, I'm not the most patient person. A seahorse made of clockwork gears darted out of the way as Marin approached. She hmm. wondered who could have built such a curious creature. See, Insomniac started... I think they had been pretty much a Sony... like, only sort of shop. I've got treasure? Well, I guess that's what those mustache coins were, too. Oop. What is that? That's just another five-coin unit thing. Um, but yeah, they, they've mostly been known for uh, Ratchet and Clank, and, um, well, mostly Ratchet and Clank. They also did, um, I have that game, um, no, um, oh man, it's on the tip of my tongue, the Xbox One third-person shooter thing, Sunset Overdrive, yeah, that, I own a copy of that and I don't have an Xbox One. That's how excited I was to play it, but I don't, um, can't play it quite yet. Oh. So they've been sort of branching out into non, uh, Sony stuff. And so this is their sort of- a glowing scrap of metal and pulled it inside. It was claw shaped and had a strong magnetic pull. She took out her tools and attached it to a firing mechanism on her steering column. Yeah, this is pretty much the most impressive, rickety, random submarine I've ever seen. Oh, so the glowy thing means that we can pick it up. Okay. Makes sense. Marin spotted shock nettles ahead of her. Ooh. She had to be cautious, as the hostile creatures would attack her on sight. So we do have sort of combat. Uh, but yeah, this has sort of been branching out from just, you know, previously mostly making Sony uh, first party stuff. You know, they wanted to own their own IP, I guess, and, uh, so the first thing was Sunset Overdrive. They did a publishing deal with Microsoft. This, obviously, is a multi-plat thing. Excuse me, sir. Oh, I can grab these and throw them. Okay. Ouch. Oh, monies. Hmm. I knew it. I knew we would need the bombs for something. Okay. Um... So yeah, this is their sort of, uh, I believe this is their first smaller sort of game. It's uh, 15 bucks on Steam, I guess I should have mentioned that. Or, I think it's not 15, you know, 15 bucks for everything. Comes out July 12th, I believe. Guardian blocked Merrin's path. She knew it all too well from her father's stories. And she knew it must never be woken. Well, let's wake it up then. Hey, buddy. Boop. Kill it. Excellent. I didn't think it would let me do that. According to her father, the Guardians had been built by ancient undersea explorers called the Fomori. Marin always thought the Fomori were a myth. Hey, Dad wasn't a complete liar after all. Other stories might be true. The twisted forms of sunken ships stretched out in the distance. Was her father's boat somewhere among them? I noticed, uh, I did a quick little test run here, and I noticed there's a little cryptic loading screen hints. I'm not sure how often we actually see loading screens, because I haven't, I haven't encountered any in gameplay yet. Um, this is as far as I've gotten gameplay-wise. I, uh, I really just wanted to make sure the game, like, ran, that I knew the basic controls. I don't like to make a complete idiot of myself on camera. You know, just a partial one. I love these mustache coins. 
I'm not sure if we have a... I assume we must have some sort of shop at some point? Uh, we've... Because we got a coin meter, we've got our little upgrades thing here, so you can keep nice track of everything. Can you go after the Clockwork Seahorse? A good map is an extremely important part of a Metroidvania. Um, I'm interested in these gates. Um, it's not like a... Well, the map's pretty detailed. Yeah, oof, what is this? Nine case. Yeah, I don't think there's loading screens between sections. At least not so far, so um, I'm not sure. Reminded her of her father's lullabies. About the brave and beautiful Narrows. I'm not sure um, how often you'll see the loading screen tips, but uh, I do appreciate when a game has nice little loading screen tips. Claw also damages enemies. Hmm. Surprised there's no enemies to use it on after you give me that little hint. I guess I will take your head, good sir. Thank you. Excuse me. There we go. Oh, there you go. Okay, so attacking those guys head on is a little dangerous. Get back here. I wonder if this is one of those things where we don't really get, like, a primary weapon. Like, you just have to make do with what's around you. Because that could be pretty interesting, you know. It keeps... It, it, stuff like that helps keep combat de-emphasized. I'm not really sure if that's... I think it respawn real fast. Get... I guess let's just get this on there. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. Get, get back here! It wants, to, it wants to be free. Can I just gently drop this? Okay. We are going to die. But we plugged in the thing. Let's just save. I think that heals us. Alright, good. Wait, can I break this? Not yet. Need a bomb or an upgrade or something. Oops. See, I don't know how well this performs on the consoles. Like I said, I only have the Steam version to review. She sketched the terrain on a sheet of cartography paper. Her father had taught her that those who make maps are never lost. A huge hermit crab watched Merrin from a rocky ledge. On his back, he carried a vast array of odd-looking treasures. The crab seemed to like shiny objects. Maybe you would be willing to make a trade. I'll always have a marker for your next destination. Alright, so you'll never get lost, despite it being a Metroidvania. I, I, I... In my opinion, it's not really complete Metroidvania if you never get lost. It's not necessarily bad, but uh, it's a different style of game. And this this doesn't seem to sort of... You know, this seems to be a more relaxed... Um, more casual sort of thing than, uh, you know, the Metroidvanias where you get lost and uh, that's where a lot of the difficulty stems is, you know, exploration. It seems to be more of a chill sort of thing. That's fine too, it's just, it's just different. Um, it's obviously not this game, but the new, the new Ratchet and Clank is really, really damn good. Um, I, whoop. I'm like one trophy away from flattening that. There's, I missed hitting, like the second to last boss with one weapon, and now I'd have to replay the whole game to uh, get that trophy. That that is like the only reason I haven't platinumed it. But uh, very good game. How do I? It's doing the classic Metroidvania teasing thing. Is that a boss? It looks very boss-like over there. Um, do you want something? So gotta find where this thing goes. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, the new Ratchet Clank is great. I. Oh, there's lots of stuff in here. I guess I got it all. So it's cool to see Insomniac branch out, but at the same time, I'm glad they're still making Ratchet Clank. That's. It's one of my favorite 3D platformer games, really. Excuse me. There isn't two twin stick aiming, you seem to just aim wherever your left stick is going. That brain coral. Cool stuff. I had 
I had a big old brain coral in my room as a kid. I'm not sure if that if my parents will have that somewhere. Very pretty little things. Oh. I think I need that actually. Excuse me. Oh. Giant clams were notoriously picky eaters. Different Each kind one of treat. seemed to prefer a different kind of treat. Ooh, I bet it needs something based on its color, right? Actually, this looks incredibly untasty, but I'm gonna feed it to it anyway. There you go. I have a giant spiky sea anemone. Uh. Oh! Huh. That wasn't what I was expecting after that disappearing animation. Pick it up. No. There you go. Uh, where do I- oh. That's where I put this. Here's your head, good sir. Let me in. I saw an item over here. Yeah, let's see what we get. Boost jet. Ah, so this lets us go through those currents, huh? Fomori vessel lay an undamaged propulsion device. Marin bolted it onto the back of her submarine, eager to test out its effects on her lightweight craft. I guess I gotta build up momentum. Why is this not? Oh, it needs to build up charge. I guess. Ah, okay. The blue flash is what I want. I'm gonna take this back. I was already that way. Let's check out that map. I guess if you don't use the map. You can still have that Metroidvania getting lost experience, I mean. Did that? Did the thing I was holding just disappear? Ah, oh, whatever. Pardon me. So this is obviously what we needed that for. The boosty thing for. Let's try to find a boss fight. I still don't have enough. Ooh, what's this? Boost Turbine. I think I want that. Look, the. It's, it's Mr. Krabs, that's what it is. Mr. Krabs isn't a hermit crab, but he is now. Um, what is this? Some weird clockwork stuff. I guess you can't carry these between areas, because then you would break their puzzles. That's probably why. Excuse you. on the boost before super throw <laughs> okay, that's not what I really plan to do okay there we go recharge already I want the coin yes okay so it's, the, it's doing the good old metroidvania thing where it sort of it gives you super simple puzzles to te to learn your equipment her. she knew this place from her father's songs these were the lost ruins of the Marrows. It's making pretty good use of its 3D. You know, the gameplay is obviously 2D, but uh, visually they do a good job filling the uh, the whole field with stuff. I always liked. Jenny's blocked oh. Marin's path. Although the creatures could be deadly to the touch, they were very shy, and even avoided each other's light. Obvious hint that we need something to shine light on them. What's this? Oh, it's one of those brain corals, I guess. Oh, hello! I think I will be leaving you alone, sir. Uh, I was about to say something, but I forget what. Marin peered through the windows of the houses, wondering if a Mero girl once lived there. And if her father had sung her lullabies about the world above. I wonder if I can destroy that owl. Rude. Oh dang, I'm almost dead. I just wanted to see if I could blow up that cannon. Detonate already. Nope. Can't hurt it. Oh well. I want to see if we can get to a boss here. I, I, I assume this game has bosses anyway. There's always... Ah! 
dead. So there's instant death. As if recovering from a bad dream. For a moment, she thought she had experienced her own death. But it had merely been the time showing her one of the many possible oh. roads ahead. Searchlights. That's a cute way to handle losing. Marin discovered two glowing lights amidst the scraps of an old Fomori machine. She attached them to the front of the submarine's hull, hoping they would help guide her on her journey. So that's how we get past lantern jellies. Oh yeah, I remember what I was talking about. Um, I really like how when Metroidvanias give you... I mean, this one gives you sort of an explanation too. Through the shadows. Was that a Mero maiden swimming through the ruins? It sort of gives you... Ideally, um, every time you give the player a new item in a Metroidvania game, you trap them basically in that room until they learn to use their item. You know, so that teaches them what to look for to use that item again with... Or... Where did that badly But you know what I mean. Oh, those the little green bits heal you. Okay. I'm not patient, so I really want to upgrade that boost thing as good as I can. This reminds me of another, um, I guess, four degrees Mero of freedom. To speak to her, but the Mero raced away. Game called uh, Insanely Twisted Shadow Planet. Get back here, Mero. Um, yeah, that's another, like, it's. You play a UFO in that one. I should do a video for that one too. I I really enjoyed it. I never quite beat it, but I got pretty far. It's got some pretty cool art design. It's lots of lots of solid colors and sort of minimalist, but also pretty grim and uh, interesting. Well, not super grim, but like slightly. What's this? Oh, it's just like a glowy thing. There are lots of those. A glowing swirl Oop. in the water tugged at Merrin's sub. Was this a time vortex? Where might it lead? It's warp gate. Let's go. Warp. Ooh. We got fast travel then. We don't have a second place to go to. At last, the Merrow Maiden stopped. Merrin called to her. Please wait. I'm only trying to find my father. The Mero looked at her for a long moment, then stirred the water with her hands, forming a ghostly image. It was the sunken ship graveyard known as Skeleton Reef. Could her father be trapped there? The Mero pointed the way to go, and Merrin thanked her. There's got an achievement called the Last Mero. Merrin asked Spoilers. Her name. Call me Car, she said. Another girl once called me that, years ago. She said it means friend. Do you not know your own language? <laughs> Whatever. Hello. So apparently she's the last one, at least according to... Uh... Oh hey, it's another merchant crab. Do I have enough money now? I want that boost. Ooh, what is this? Oh, we just have to buy these in order. I guess. Sends a range of watch objects. Pull the ship. Increase. Where the ship's hull. Alright, I just want this one. Using materials she bought from the hermit crab, Marin took out her tools and made a quick modification to her magnetic claw. Um, it's actually not what I did. I guess they just expect you to use that one first. I actually bought the boost upgrade. Gimme! Give me. Yes, what is that? Hull fragment. Oh. It's an energy tank. Marin picked up a fragment of a Fomori Sentinel's hull. She hammered it into the wall of her own submarine, making it more resistant to damage. Give me that. There you go. Ooh. I can get that yet. I'll take that though. I guess the money system lets them hide little tiny bits 
without actually like being full items. Oh, get some choppy frame rate here. You know, let some hide little bits of uh, relevant items instead of you know having full-fledged items all over the place, which is a little difficult. What is that? I guess I gotta get like a key card or something. I gotta get the magical gold city key card. I guess I'll keep going until either a half hour or until we find this uh, first boss. Now the seahorse was poking at a glass wall. Such a strange creature, Marin thought. She wished she could understand what it wanted. It wants to get through the wall. Stupid. Not sure how to help it though. Oh, does it mark money? Oh, it marks the uh, crabs that we can feed things. Is there anything to even feed it? Hmm. Oh, dang. We need to go way over there. Oh, it goes, It filled in some of the map for us, too. Hmm. Well, let's head that way. I'm not entirely sure there are bosses, I'm just assuming, because the almost always are. And it's not like it's a combat-free game, so... Yeah, so that pickup thing we didn't get is marked on the map, too. That I really like. I, um... I... W well, I really liked, um, Zero Metroid Fusion, but, um... To reach the lost graveyard of ships, Marin would have to cross the foul and treacherous region known as Watcher's Hollow. This was a place her father had never sung about, for the tales of the Watcher were known only to those below. The yeah, Metroid Fusion was a lot more linear, and I didn't like that aspect. But, um... Oh, crap, what was I talking about? Um... Oh yeah, one thing I did like is that it started marking things on the map. Like, I really like... You know, that I know what I missed with a Metroidvania map. It's... It's really nice. I, I don't... I like getting lost, but I don't... You know, once I scout out an area, I kind of want to be able to see that I missed something. Hello. You're a bad thing. You're probably a bad thing too. Wait, no you're not. Get out of here. What is that? Come here. Are you a friend? Oh. Oh, you can just kill it. Oh, and more spawn, of course. Pups swam through the dark caverns. Oh. of their deadly surroundings. Maybe they were tougher than they looked. Even the stinging enemies seemed to avoid them. So it's like a puppy cuttlefish. Which is... I guess cuter than it sounds? So I guess I gotta follow those guys around. Boost. Oh, I gotta pull that. Get out. Gimme, give gimme. Give pull the thing. Did... Open the gate. Don't tell me it closes after a certain time or something. That would be very rude. Nah, I think it's open. I'm not sure why it didn't open the first time. Oh, you can go through those, it just hurts a lot. Aw, oh, it does close after a certain time. Okay. Alright. Let's go... Wait, what's this? Get out of here. Locked treasure chest, I guess. <laughs> I guess you get money for defeating enemies, too. I wonder if there's infinite money, or... If enemies only give you money when, the first time they die. Oh, 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 I get it, I get it, I get it. Do I thought I got it. How do I make you drop? And I guess I need, we need something else after all.
All right, hurry up, cuttlefish pup. I'll see what's beyond this gate. Come on. All right. Move, move. So it takes a while to fully recharge that thing. You can still use it again, but uh, it takes a while to charge. Yeah, I don't have enough money. Oh, I almost do, actually. At least for the claw upgrade. Oh, no, no! You gotta be kidding me. Hmm. There must be some sort of, like, shrink or slip through upgrade. I mean, there always is in Metroidvania. There's always something that makes you get through small things. Into a great open expanse of water. Oh, cool. Howls of hungry leviathans echoed in the distance. This seemingly bottomless trench was known as the Maw. Seems like a good place to have a boss. <laughs> I like that little map there. Is there a boss in the Maw? Let's see this. That sure is more like. Ooh! Gimme. That's just money. <laughs> Ow. Okay. Oh! If you die, you don't keep what you got. Reasonable, I guess. By the way. Okay, instant death. Got it. I thought I just had low health. Alright. Guess I'll have to get that gem later. I wonder how much that... No, give me. There we go. I wonder how much that's worth. What? Are you bad? Okay, you're bad. What is that? What is happening? It's a tractor beam. Get, get away from that. Okay. I don't want to see it's bad. I guess let's just go up. I think this is where we're supposed to go. Wait, wait, I want the coins. No money. Ugh. Okay. A hard headed Nautiloceros watched Merin from a distance, waiting for an opportunity to strike. Oop. Ow. Maybe I should just leave that thing alone. Seems rude. Oh crap. I think I'm just gonna leave. Or not. Maybe I'll stay. I guess I gotta go this way. They're very generous with its save points. I don't mind that. It was one of the more annoying things in uh, Super Metroid. Even worse than the original Metroid, where you just always went back to the start. Oof. Zero mission was kind of needed. The original Metroid did not age all that well. Amazing game for its, you know, for its day. Uh, I really like the aesthetics and stuff, but uh, another fragment of a Fomori sentinel. Each new piece would help her further strengthen her own vessel. Why can't I leave? Let me go. Okay, they're just respawning. Too good at combat in this. Why aren't you open? Wait, is this like a kill gate? Do I have to kill a bunch of these? Oh, oh crap, it's you. Okay. Handed on the hints, honestly. Uh, yeah, I thought I thought it was a hint to lure it into the other enemies, but I guess we have to hit it into a wall after all. Which seems kind of. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Come on. 
tame boss here. Come on, get going. Excuse you. It's not like I'm not going to be constantly dashing, so it's a little annoying that I have to wait to recharge to get past those. But better save. So that wasn't a boss, it was just sort of a, I guess, a mini boss. Oh. Hmm. Can I trick you into firing like this? Oh, I can, but I need to not actually get hit. Oh, for... Okay. I'm bad at this. Let's go save. Wait, why did... I'm not sure this is going to work after all. Ow. Yep, doesn't work. Okay. Wait, what? I couldn't go up there that last time, though. Oh, I just needed to grab on these things, huh? Oh, okay. I see. I see your clever ruse. I see through it. Huh? of a leisurely pace in general. Very relaxing, though. I always really like nice undersea-themed things. It's funny, because I can't swim, or actually I can't float. I I go in water and I just go down. It's, it's not pleasant. I learned how to swim as a kid. I don't really think it's about knowledge. It's just I don't float. I don't know. I don't know how that happens, but it apparently does, and it's kind of sucks, but whatever. I'd rather, you know, visit seas and video games and stuff where the big fish and stuff can't actually eat me. Because the big fish and all of this weird stuff is the cool bits, not the, you know, not the safe stuff. Safe stuff is for losers. Marin looked out across miles and miles of sunken ships. She had entered Skeleton Reef. How many ships lay here? Hundreds. Maybe thousands. The very thought gave her chills. But she knew that somewhere amidst the broken wrecks she would find her father's boat. Hmm. Oh, that looks like a boss area there. Sure how long it'll take us to get there. If this doesn't seem to lead directly to that area, I think I'll call that a video. I might do a second video, but uh, I think I'm probably done this tonight. I need to watch some more AGDQ, honestly. They had Trials Fusion on, and I decided to um, maybe just play play a game myself instead of watching. Uh, it was it was pretty. I don't think the game is bad, but it wasn't being shown well. Eh. Big fan of AGDQ or SGDQ in this case, but uh, any of the GDQs doesn't matter which one. What are you? You're just gonna drop a naval mine at me? That's rude. Oh, I need to let it go. Oh, I see, I see. It's puzzle time. Puzzle time with Uncle Tap Tap. physics youth puzzles where things go wrong. Oh, oh. Come on. There you go. Now I need to do it again. 
again. Uh, I think it will take us a while to get over to that thing. So yeah, I think I'll call this a video. Uh, I'll probably do another video just to at least try to get to a, to a boss. Yeah, very chill metroid -y vania sort of deal. They make really good use of the 3D effect. I, I, I'm a little iffy on 2.5D stuff, but uh, this makes good use of the 3D. Another ga a game that makes really damn good use that I was not expecting. Oh, you jerk! You, you, absolute. Ahem. A game that I did not expect to make good use of 3D visuals was um, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. That is a really good one. Good game and good use of visuals. What? How am I supposed to get? Ah. Well, I won't force you to suffer through watching me try to get this stupid thing in. I'll I'll let you go. But this is Song of the Deep, and uh, it's pretty nice and chill. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Bump the thing. Bump the. Boop. Ah oh, no. Why do you do this to me? Can I direct this better than... Th 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 there's gotta be a better way than that, right? Can I, like, right stick, maybe? No? That's just kind of annoying. But yeah, this is Song of the Deep. 